everybody, it's me, Miss Tracy. It's time for some more early childhood fun or elementary school. Today we're going to be painting with glue. Yeah, you can paint with it. It's totally easy. It doesn't have to be Elmer's glue. It can be any of the cheapest glue you can find at any dollar store. And you want some food coloring so you can color your glue. So you can pour a little bit of glue in a container, whatever container you want. I just chose glass ones. Then you take some food coloring. Food coloring is your friend if you have a young child. Take some food coloring, put a couple drops in the glue. I've got purple and I'm going to use some green. Boop. And then stir it up. If you have a paintbrush, you can just stir it with your paintbrush. It's awesome. It turns out super, super pretty. Kind of looks like frosting, but it's not. And we got some blue, purple. It's so pretty, great for Easter. Now, if you don't have any paint brushes, no worries. There's lots of different things you can paint with. You have an old toothbrush, use that. You got Q-tips, use a Q-tip. If you have some old makeup that has an applicator, you can use that too. You could also use your fingers. You could use little sponges that are attached to a clothespin or even a cotton ball that's attached to a clothespin or not attached to a clothespin if you don't have any. No big deal. So then what are you going to paint on? Well, you could actually paint on a tray like this baking sheet I have here just for fun because it's just Elmer, it's just glue, you can wash it off. Or, what's really fun when you're painting with glue is foil. You can take your awesome pretty color of glue, get a little purple on there, maybe switch it up and use a Q-tip and put a little green on there, or whatever colors you have. And there you have it. You've got your foil with your awesome colors. Foil works great with glue paint. Or how about wax paper? Wax paper is great with glue paint because it's the glue paint slides around super easy. If your kids don't like to get messy, you might definitely want something that's long. They can hold on to if they don't want to get their hands messy. Or maybe if your kids love to get their hands messy, they can just stick their fingers in there and go crazy. I'm going to use a couple of Q-tips. Woohoo! The colors are really pretty. Why not give the toothbrush a try? And then, guess what? If you let it dry, you've got a stained glass window. Perfect! You can also use things like paper bags if you have those in the house, file folders if you have some of those, regular construction paper, or just plain old white notebook paper. But let's say you don't have any glue in the house. What about something else? Well, I got something else. Most houses have some shaving cream, and you can paint with shaving cream too. Put some little container. Of course, add some food coloring or not. And you can do the same thing. Stir it up. Ooh, it's so pretty and it smells good. That's awesome. One thing you can do is you can just paint on the tray because it's just shaving cream. And then you can just stick it in the dishwasher. Easy cleanup. Again, you can also use your wax paper and use shaving cream on the wax paper either with some kind of brush or utensil that they can put the paint on with or shoot it's shaving cream have at it use your hands then it turns into a total sensory activity and you can either let it dry and hang it up or you can toss it when they're not looking painting is a great way to expose kids to different textures different color words color mixing, color changing. Painting is all good for little kids. So make some paint with your kid today. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.